Hello internet, my name's Daryl Webb. Today we're going to have a look at the Hapso Sweden safety gun strap. Um, it's not like a full review or anything like that. This is just sort of going over something that someone sent in to me. Um, there's a guy, Craig, over at Go Thermal. Um, he sent me a couple of little things that I've used in the last few videos. You may have seen this used, or you may not. I can't remember if it's in the videos or not. But I've been using this little fox call. It's a ripper. It's really, really loud. And I think it's a great alternative to a um, like a tenor pistol style whistle because it's easier to use. You can really get this thing humming along quite loud. And I've been using it even just for foxes to um, get them pull up instead of saying, oi, being something different. Um, but yeah, just more recently, he sent me over this this safety gun strap. Um, I think he's the importer for them now. Um, essentially what it is, is you've got your normal gun strap that you would use, but as you would know, you put a normal gun strap on, it's not uncommon for them to fall off your shoulder. Um, so there's all different little things that have come up over the years, you know, little sling hooks on your backpack straps and things like that. But, this has been the most simplest one I've seen, so it's just a standard strap, but you put this little piece on there with a clip. Um, and then on the bottom of the gun, you put around, it's just a loop, and you can loop it just around the uh, actual stock. And when you're wearing it, you can have it so it's, uh, I'll just sort of show you so you can understand it, banging my firearm there. Um, you just reach around behind yourself. I've got it up high to go across my body, but you can also just put it around your waist. But all of a sudden, it's sort of like three points of contact, and all of a sudden now, you've got two hands. Um, like, I mean, you can... Yeah. You can jump around like a bit of an idiot, what I've found. Um, what I've liked about it is, I do like a normal type strap. I do prefer it. Um, but just, you always lose a hand because you're sort of hanging onto the firearm. Now, when I'm out thermal shooting, I've usually got a tripod and a thermal scanner on my hand. So I sort of need two hands. Um, so I've been using a safari style sling, um, which I do like. But the only thing about the safari style sling is, um, if you're shooting with other people, you inevitably point your gun at people. And I don't like to have a gun with bullets in it that's pointing at anyone. So this one still keeps it muzzle up in the air, nice and safe, um, but does it in a way that uh, still lets you have both hands free. So I'll sort of bring it in close so you can sort of see it. And um, besides that, it's just something you can research it or something like that. I've been really impressed with it. Um, I'm gonna keep using it. I might get another one for um, a couple of other guns. I've just got it on my sling on some quick mounts so I can change it between guns, but um, I'm using it that much now that I, I might have to get another one. Um, I've tried it on my chassis mount guns. It works all right with the chassis as well as the traditional stock. So yeah, it's a pretty good bit of kit, but we'll check it out and um, we'll leave it at that. Uh, okay, so it just goes on. Um, it's just a normal type buckle like what's on a, like on a backpack and it just goes around with its own loop and um, that's it, it's sort of locked it is free to slide, you can move it around. Um, but it's, it's a simple design, and then you just trim it and melt it to uh, make it short. And then on the other end of it, make sure I get this in frame so you can actually see it. The other end is just straight out right, a string loop. You just got a loop on the end there, just thread it through itself, around the stock. Then adjust it to the size you want. There is some um, anti-slip um, like a silicon type finish on the inside so when it's against your body it doesn't slide around your clothes um, but that's it it's very simple it's well made everything's stitch good and it is really high quality strap as soon as you sort of feel it you can tell it's uh, it's not junk but yet again those nordic countries like sweden make are known for making nice gear and um harpso sweden seems to be no different i hope i'm pronouncing that correct <laughs> some of the words are a bit strange for me but yeah um when you um Buckle it, it does make a bit of noise, but when you unbuckle it, it's silent, so um, no worries about uh, scaring game with it. But uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, that was sort of a little packet that come in. It's, it's got a few different sizes. Uh, this one's Tracking Hunter. Pretty much in there, um, little booklet. Safe hunting, safety gun strap, focus control, relaxing security made in Sweden. Up so. But uh, there's some little basic instructions there that you can check out if you're interested. But uh, very easy to set up and uh, very comfortable to wear. If you want some details on it, I'm not sure if he's got his website set up yet, but there I'll put the details on there. It's, um, there's an email, craig at gothermal.com.au. 
um, and there's a phone number for him. But I'll put those details up in the description and I'll put them on the screen as well. Um, I'm not sure what else he's sort of got there. He's got some sort of, he just seems to have some gear I haven't seen anywhere else. This fox we saw, I said it was quite unique. I haven't tried anything else that's like this and um, it was nice. I've never heard of them. I don't know what brands they are or anything, but he's got them and they work good. Um, I said a bit the same with the gunsling. I haven't seen that uh, that method of uh, making it so you got both hands free, so I was pretty impressed with that. Um, if you're up on YouTube and you're watching this video, this gun's got no bolt in it. It's safe. Don't um, block the video. YouTube's been really bad for that lately. Anyway, on that note, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and... Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button. Now, bye for now.